<clears throat> when it's time for you to speak, we usually don't answer questions during this time. Okay. Uh, well, I, I'd like them answered at some point in time. Okay. Um, basic, oh, first of all, my name is Robert Knudsen. I live in Port Ludlow. I do own Shoreline property. In fact, this week I will be paying close to $5,000 in taxes. And this year I'll be paying close to 10000 my wife and I. Uh, my first question is, did any or all of you attend the SNP hearing last week on the 20th at Fort Warden? And I understand you're not going to answer. Uh, do any of you own Shoreline in the city of Port Townsend? Do any of you own Shoreline in other parts of Jefferson County? If you did attend the meeting, you would have noticed that 80 to 90 percent of the Shoreline owners, and I want to stress that, were against the proposed 150-foot setback. Since you were able to see that 80 to 90 percent of all shoreline owners were against the 150 foot setback, will you, as our elected representative and county commissioners, recommend to the Department of Ecology that the plan be revised to mimic the city of Port Townsend SNP setback of 50 feet? If you would not recommend revising the SNP to include a 50 foot setback, would you consider suggesting to the Department of Ecology a setback for existing property owners? that are already built out on a case-by-case -case basis, a setback that would not make their existing home non-conforming. The reason for this suggested change is both to save the county assessment dollars and also litigation dollars from affected shoreline owners who will both ask for lower tax assessments and who will probably sue the county for comp compensation due to taking other property. I already mentioned that we're gonna pay uh, $5,000 in the next couple of days, so I won't dwell on that. Um, I will say, though, that our our property will be affected by the 150 foot. The actual, actually, the, the footage is 160 feet because it's 150 feet plus 10 feet. So it's kind of a, a, a game that the county's playing or the SMP is playing to make you think it's 150 feet. It's really 160. But our property will definitely become non-conforming if this comes into effect. And I'm very concerned about it. And I know that there's hundreds of other property owners that were there that were very uh, concerned about it. Why did the county and the DOE choose not to notify all shoreline property owners of this countywide SMP three to four years ago? We were notified about two weeks ago by the Department of Ecology and about 10 days ago by the Jefferson County Realtors Association. All shoreline owners should have been notified three to four years ago so that we could have taken part in this process. And I see I'm out of time. Thank you. Thank you.